A new year is here, and there is no doubt 2020 has a lot in store. While Canada is expected to avoid a federal election, Americans will cast their ballots in a race between the Democrats and an impeached president. In the UK, Brexit will come to a head, with Britain scheduled to become the first nation to leave the EU. And it won't end there. Jeff Semple reports on what else to expect over the next 12 months. 2020 marks the dawn of a new decade and a new chapter in the world's biggest stories. And ladies and gentlemen, the best is yet to come. 2019 was defined by struggle. A fight for freedom in Hong Kong, for Brexit in Britain, and a push to impeach a president. People feel that they have been let down by the various institutions that are that they're starting to challenge. Those battles and others could be decided in the months ahead. Predicting the future is precarious business, but we found a number of experts in different fields who were brave enough to place their bets on the biggest winners and losers of 2020. And first up in the winners column is Canada's golden penny. Tokyo is preparing to host the Summer Olympics, and Canada, traditionally a Winter Games winner, is poised to make a splash. And leading the pack will be Penny Alexiak. Focusing on this year, trying to get my times faster, and then hopefully making the 2020 team. She was just 16 at the Rio Olympics, where she won four medals and set a world record. Three medals in Tokyo would see the Torontonian become the most decorated Canadian Olympian in history. If Canada hits Tokyo with all of our swagger, we're going to have an extraordinary games. Tokyo will host the games while also marking a somber anniversary. 75 years since the bombings at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which led to the Japanese surrender and the end of the Second World War. 2020 will also mark 75 years since the founding of the United Nations, and we'll see Canada vie for a seat on the UN Security Council. Canada is not going to win a seat on the United Nations. Trudeau said Canada is back, or that's what he ran on in 2015. It's hard to tell on the international scene. We don't see many so-called Canadian peacekeepers out there. The UN was one of a number of international institutions born after the Second World War, which strove to bring the world closer together with a shared purpose. But in 2020, one of those global bodies is losing a limb. Done. Nearly four years since the UK voted to leave the EU, 2020 will see Prime Minister Boris Johnson finally get Brexit done by January 31st. At least, sort of. The UK will then need to negotiate a new EU trade deal, with Johnson promising a hard Brexit. A clean break before the end of the year. But analysts aren't sure that he'll stick to that timeline or even that brand of Brexit. And Johnson is not really a, um, an ideological um, Brexiteer. He will have a certain amount of leeway, and he may decide then to go for a, ra a rather close aligned deal with the EU. A hard Brexit could prove a tougher sell with the specter of a global recession on the horizon. It seems that a big recession is coming, and China may be actually leading that leading the world into the next recession. So uh, that's really bad news all around. For its part, Canada is expected to avoid both a recession and a federal election in 2020. The Conservative Party won't select its new leader until November. That same month, we will see a provincial election in Saskatchewan, and the very next day, there will be another election that could carry consequences for the world. And these people want to impeach the president? Opponents of the American president are hoping 2020 will turn the White House Democrat blue. The party will choose their candidate in July, with opinion polls predicting another very tight race for the Oval Office. I think we're going to have a change in the presidency. But academics and pollsters admit their predictions of late have been less than perfect. I'm wrong 70% of the time. And I might be wrong this time, which will confirm it. Whatever 2020 brings, the stakes are high. 
and the world may look much different by 2021. Jeff Semple, Global News.